All right, good morning, everyone. I'm making this little video because I've received a couple of emails from people asking for help or clarification when it comes to a particular aspect of a certain related rates problem. And the related rates problem involves a person walking towards a lamppost or away from a lamppost. The classic question is at what rate is the length of the shadow changing? And I don't think that those people are having any difficulty setting up the problem and answering that question. Where the difficulty lies or where the help is needed is in how do you go about answering the second question, which is at what rate is the tip of the shadow moving? And because this particular application is as part of an assignment that's due to be turned in, I'm not going to do the actual related rates problem. What I want to do is draw an analogy between what's happening in the shadow problem and something else. So I'm going to ask everybody to imagine that you are fishing. It doesn't matter whether you fish or like to fish. We're just going to go with it. And I'm going to label three points on this line. This point is the location of a fish that's on the end of your line. This point is the location of the boat that you are in. And this point is a location on the shore that the boat is going to be moving towards. I'm also going to label on here three distances. The letters that I use don't stand for anything, they're just letters. I'm going to say that A is the distance between the fish and the boat, B is the distance between the boat and the shore, and C is the distance between the fish and the shore. And we can neglect the fact that the fishing line, the line that's connecting the boat and the fish is perfectly horizontal. We know that unless the fish is floating above the water or unless you are under the water, that that line would be angled. We're just going to assume it's pretty horizontal. So what I want to point out to you in this situation is that if I tell you that the boat is traveling towards the shore, that means the fish will be getting closer to the shore because the boat is pulling it closer to the shore. But if I also tell you that you are reeling in fishing line, that means the fish is going to be getting closer to the shore because it's getting closer to the boat, which is getting closer to the shore. And in order to draw an analogy here and connect it with calculus, I hope you can see that the variables A plus B would give you C. Now again, I'm telling you that the distance from the fish to the boat is A, and I'm also saying, I'll just use a different color here so that you can see it a little better. I'm also going to tell you that dA dt is, I'm going to make up a number, negative 2 feet per second. So you are sitting in the boat and you are reeling the fish in at 2 feet per second. And I'm also going to tell you that dB dt is negative 3 feet per second. And what that means is that the boat is traveling towards the shore at 3 feet per second. Now, if I asked you to find dc dt, I know that many people will take an intuitive approach and you will just say, well, I guess if the fish is getting closer to the boat at 2 feet per second and the boat is getting closer to the shore at 3 feet per second, then the fish is getting closer to the shore at 5 feet per second. But in math, we like to justify things. So the justification here, the mathematics of it, the algebra, is that you would take this equation a plus b equals c, and you would differentiate everything with respect to time. So you would get dA dt plus dB dt equals dC dt. And from there, you could say that dC dt would be equal to dA dt, which is negative 2. I've got a little typo up here. This should be feet per second. You would say that dC dt is dA dt, which is negative 2 feet per second, 
plus dB dt, which is negative 3 feet per second, which means that dc dt is negative 5 feet per second. Now again, I don't want to do your assignment for you. I hope that discussion that I just had about fishing and boats and the shore and the location of the fish makes sense. All that I will tell you to help you apply this to the related rates problem is that this is analogous to the shadow This point on the shore is really the location of the lamp post. The boat is the person or whatever object is moving. And finally, and I'm getting crowded out here, so I'm not going to write this all down, dA dt would be the length, pardon me, dA dt would be the rate at which the length of the shadow is changing. And, oh, one more thing, the fish represents the location of the tip of the shadow. So if you wanted to find the rate at which the tip of the shadow was moving, I guess you would be concerning yourself with dc dt. So I hope that gets your mind rolling in the right direction with the difference between finding the rate at which a shadow is changing, analogous to the rate at which you're reeling the fish in, and the rate at which the tip of the shadow is moving, which is the rate at which the fish is approaching the shore. I hope that helps. Have a great day.